I love Mariah Elizabeth. She is a really awesome, fun, and hilarious down-to-earth kind of person that makes really amazing art and craft type content and has amazing merchandise, which I happen to have quite a few of, as you can see here. And I've also bought apparel and things for my mother, which is not shown here. But all that is beside the point. The point is... Today, we're going to make one of Mariah Elizabeth's characters, the beloved Georgie, so let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, I'm just trying to get the basic shape together for the body, so I'm starting off with this pretty Georgie color. <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting like that is actually the name of this color yellow. There isn't a name really, I mix this color up and I did it a while ago, so there is a significant amount of dust and fibers on it from just sitting there. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You know, we're not worried about it. I was originally going to go for the squishy Georgie shape, but for the purpose of putting it on a stand later, I went with the plushy shape since it'll sit better. And next up are the cute little tiny arms. <laughs> Fun fact though, it actually took me three attempts to get the size of these right, but once I got them correct, the only thing left to do for these is to make sure the shape is correct, and then kind of work the edges into the clay for a more seamless look, which usually isn't that difficult of a task for me to do. That's usually more of the easy side of things. Um, I also like to blend the edges first and then smooth it out with my fingers. And speaking of fingers, ignore, please, please ignore the band-aid on my fingers as making this whole process look much less than aesthetic. <laughs> Sorry, you have no idea how hard it was to find that sound clip though. Anyways, look at the shape so far. So far, so good, right? I mean, right? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is texture on the little pineapple indentation thingies. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. The texture of the pineapple, maybe. Um, I've actually made three Georgies before. Uh, the last two, I shared it on my Instagram a short while back. Uh, just to let people know that I was going to be doing this video, nobody cared, <laughs> nobody even viewed it. But the first one I made, I actually tried to paint on the pineapple stripes indent thingies. What did I say we were just going to call it? Um, the texture of the pineapple. And it did not go well at all. Mm. So, second attempt. I just use a needle tool like I'm doing here to make the indent texture and it looks way better this way so that's what I decided to do here too. Now the only problem with this is that you can easily smudge your previous work on the front or back depending on what side you're working on so I just have to be careful. Now, I mixed up a couple of greens together uh, to get the leaves color for the top of my little Georgie's head. I used a teeny tiny cutter to make sure I cut out even circles and then just roll them out a bit and flatten them. I'm actually going to stack these in the shape of his little pineapple leaves. Uh, I don't know what to call that other than pineapple leaves. Um, I cut out two different sizes, a bigger and then a smaller set because I wanted the leaves at the edge to be smaller to make the more rounded shell style look if that makes any sense whatsoever i'm not really good at explaining things go figure um i actually made two finished leaf sets and then i put them together and then i added extra leaves to the center to kind of pump up the width of his little leaf crown that's what i'm gonna call it leaf crown and also to make sure you would be able to see the definition of the crown on both sides. So that was kind of the goal there and I think it actually worked out great doing it that way. And now it's time to crown Georgie with this little leaf crown headpiece. And doesn't that just look super cute? It's cute 
definitely cute, right? Right. I'm going to be sure to blend the seams of it all, all the way around his head, to make sure this, this doesn't pop off later. I actually, I had a little issue with this because I popped him in the freezer to make sure the pineapple texture wouldn't smudge too much while I was applying force to attach this to his head, but... He was in there slightly over the needed time, and it was so firm that it was a little hard to attach it. But, I kept working with it until it softened enough with the heat from my hands, good enough to secure it well, um, and then just feathered out the leaves again. And then this is another custom color I mixed up just for his beak and his legs and feet. Uh, the beak took three tries because I was giving him some Kardashian lips by accident and had to promptly correct that. His legs I actually made just a bit too thick but uh, I never realized until later when it came time to glue him to the stand. So he's not completely sitting on it. You'll probably see that later on but that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. We won't fret about it. It's not a big deal. I um, I made his little duck feet and took a bit of time attaching those to his little legs before attaching those to his body. And it's going to be finally time to bake this guy soon enough. Soon enough. Um, it's just going to take a minute to get those legs on correctly. Like I said, uh, it was a bit of time trying to get them right, and as you can see, I did kind of make the, the legs a little too thick. Uh, thicker than they needed to be. I wish I'd have made them a little bit thinner um, in the end, but I kind of smashed them down a little bit because I was thinking they were looking too thin, and technically they weren't, so I goofed, you know? Hey, it happens. It's okay. I found that using my needle tool really does help get the really teeny tiny crevices. And look at these cute little legs. Oh my god. Now he's ready to bake. Into the oven he goes and then he's going to cool. And once he cools, it's time to get his face on. And this was mm, kind of easy, but kind of not. The one downside to the textured pineapple features is that it makes the surface difficult to paint smoothly on because of all the indents. Now I did manage to get it pretty even though and getting his face on wasn't too big of an issue I'd say. But still I don't really know how to solve that problem of trying to paint between the crevices other than using the tiniest dotting tool in that I have. Um, and then this is just putting his mouth on, which was fairly easy. Um, it's just a nice little mixture of brown paint. And then you get to put the little corners of his smile on, which is also so much fun to do. This was actually a fun task. Um, now this has nothing to do with this video, but I've been dabbling in stop motion recently, and I put together a little LOL OMG stop motion for a test. But the lighting was off. Um, but let me know if y'all will be interested in seeing little stop motion intros or announcement videos or whatever here too. Because um, I can definitely attempt to make some of those and share them with you guys. So just let me know. Alright, just got to finish up his eyebrows which came out a little thick. But I mean, it's not too bad. Still looks like Georgie. At least to me. And then after I got a put this little, I don't know what to call this thing, but I just know he has it from the image I saw. <laughs> and here we go, Georgie. He is finished and super cute. And he's going to get a gloss later too. Off camera though. And this is the stand that I made and it was horrible. Horrible, horrible. Scratch that, scratch that. We are not going to use that. This is the one we're going to use. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. I'm not very good at painting, but I think I did a pretty good job on that. I had a hard time blending, but it came out super cute. I wrapped it all the way around uh, the stand, so the color goes all the way around the, the rainbow. And here I am putting some glue 
on because, you know, I told you I couldn't glue it to his butt because it didn't stick well. I had to put the glue on his legs. But here he is, all finished. He is super cute. I love him. I'm so excited that I got to make this. So just let me know if you guys want to see anything else in the future. Bye!